I think I know what we have to do. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. You invited Ian to move in with us here? Not move in with us, just come and stay for a little while. The man's a wreck, Lucy. Besides, he needs some help with Daniel. It made sense. Yeah, it does make sense. Of course, he, um, he said no, right? Of course. Yeah, I mean, considering everything that... Uh, we... uh, uh. I know. Uh, it, it's just... I wonder if it had anything to do with that candle burning down. Candle? Yeah, the, the comfort candle. You remember we found it outside Ian's door? You mean the candle someone left without a card? Yes. That was the candle he was burning at the memorial service. Remember, he said that it, it just helped him. It brought him a lot of comfort. Hence the name. This is not funny. This actually gets very, very interesting. OK. OK. The candle, that candle, was a gift from Allison. Do you remember all that stuff that Victor had asked to store here from that charity auction? Mm -hmm. OK. Well, that stuff came from Amanda Barrington's attic. There was um, an old portrait, some clothes, a camera, and these very, very special old candles. And? And, OK, and the candles were made by Allison's great-great-great-grandmother, Rebecca. And somehow, all these candles are working their magic all over Port Charles. Magic candles? Yeah. I, I can't believe I didn't tell you all about this sooner. You know, maybe it's just because of everything with uh, Eve. I know, you know, I know. Just tell me that. <sighs> OK, well, the first thing. I saw this portrait of Allison's great-great-great-grandmother. Rebecca. Rebecca, exactly. Now, Rebecca and Paige look exactly like Rebecca is a spitting image of Paige. Doc, don't you see? I think this is it. I think this is the missing portrait from that family gallery of Paige's in London. So you think Rebecca might have been the black sheep of the family? Well, I don't know, but maybe. I mean, why else would you hide away somebody's portrait in an attic for more than 100 years? And you think these candles might have something to do with that? I, I wouldn't think so. They seem good. There's nothing sinister or creepy about them. OK, you told me about Ian. Yeah. Well, there's also Victor and Mary. What about them? Oh, I, I, I went right through that door. I just left them alone in this room for, like, five minutes. And they must have gotten exposed to some candle, because the next thing I know, I come back in here, and they are going at it like, like little bunny rabbits right here on this couch. My father? Yes. Ah! <laughs> yes, your father. Oh, wait a minute. There's also Chris Ramsey. Somehow, he must have gotten exposed to that same candle, because in the recovery room, this female cop walks in. He's never seen her before, ever in his life. And he jumps on her, and they're doing whatever you do, that dirty dance and stuff, right there. They didn't even know each other. Oh, wow. Now, that is magic. Wait a minute. Don't you patronize me. Lucy. Now you're losing me. Don't do it, because I had my own personal experience with this candle. This, this one right here, look. It's called warmth. And when you light it, Doc, I, I lit this, and I felt so incredibly warm all over, really deep inside. Really? Yes. Wow. Candle, fire, light. Isn't that supposed to make you feel warm? Give me that. You know something? You're, you're, you're not going to be laughing when I'm making all this money with Allison, because we are going into business. We're going to open a little candle shop business. Excuse me? Well, it's just we figure after everybody's been through so much, you know, sadness and, and sorrow, we thought we'd give them a product that makes them feel good. And how bad can that be? You're going into the magic candle business with Allison Barrington? No, not exactly. I mean, I'm not going into business per se. I'm just going to finance her, and, and I'm going to give her all my valuable business advice. Not to throw cold water, but don't you think you ought to have these candles tested first? And what does that mean? Well, it means that there were a lot of harmful drugs that were legal 100 years ago. These candles don't have any drugs in them. How do you know that? Well, I, I don't know, but I just know. It's, I, yeah, to yeah. be continued. <sighs> Ian, hey. how's it going? Good, come on in. Hey. Hey, you. Hey, it's so good to see you two Hello. out. You know, you're both looking a lot better, Doc. Don't you think you both look a lot better? Huh? You look fine. <laughs> we made a big decision, didn't we? What? what? You're, you're moving in with us? No. No, no, but I, I do appreciate the offer. I really do. Thank you. Sure. Um. 
You're right about one thing. We can't be cooped up in an apartment with nothing but memories. So we're going to find a little change of scenery. Well, what do you mean? We're going home. Home? We're going to Ireland. You can't just leave Port Charles because Port Charles is your home now. There's lots of people here who love you. Ian, we, we want to help. I need Danny to know where his roots are. Doc, tell him he, he just can't take off like that. He just can't leave. Ian knows what he's doing, Lucy. So, what are you saying? You're saying you agree with him? No, I'm just saying we've all been down this road before, and if that's what Ian needs to do to move on, then so be it. I know, if but I don't... If it were just me, I'd get a case of whiskey, find a dark room, and call it a day. I'm doing the right thing for my boy. Well, it's not fair. You just sort of dropped into all of our lives out of nowhere, and now you just are going to disappear that fast? Do you remember the first day we met? Yeah. In the park, and you were grieving, grieving Christina. Yeah. Do you remember what you told me? You told me that no matter how dark things got, that there could always, always be a happy ending. Yeah, well, I don't know if I can believe that now. Look, I know it's hard, but I know you will one day, and I just want the chance to help you do that. Let me help you now. You have, you both have. So when will you be back? What do you think? We'll take this one day at a time, right? <laughs> hey, Kevin. Thanks for turning on the light. Anytime. Come on. God bless you both. Okay, little man. Okay, Dan. We love you. Oh, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Just <laughs> wait a second. I have some. Um, it's not exactly like exactly like the candle you had before, but I want you to take it here. You you take it, and if it feels like it's really cold out there and you get lonely, just light it. And then you'll know that there are people back here that are thinking of you and want to do anything they can to help. <laughs> Thanks, don't you want Thank you. You're welcome. Think, kid. Hey, we'll be all right, won't we? As long as we have each other. I'm not sure how, but I know we'll be okay. 